Hi Aquarius, welcome to your April bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you and welcome. So Aquarius, with this bonus reading, we are going to take a look at what's going on in love, what's going on in your life, get some energy from the universe, messages, guidance, advice, uh, what you need to know right now from Spirit, the universe, and then we'll clarify all the energies with Tarot. So my intention with this uh, bonus reading is if some of your monthlies didn't resonate for you, then maybe something here will. So please keep in mind, it may be past, present, or future. You can be male or female watching this. It uh, can be interchangeable energies. If it's not you, it could be somebody around you. So please keep that in mind. Also, everything here may or may not resonate with you. So only take what resonates and throw away the rest. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, so Aquarius, Aquarius, everything you need to know is down below in the description box, uh, personal reading information, uh, a lot of stuff down there, so go check that out. And um, if you're new and you'd like to share, uh, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, uh, hit the bell, you won't miss out. Uh, I do about five readings a month for each sign, so feel free to check it out. And if you do subscribe and uh, put your energy into the channel, hopefully we'll get readings for you that resonate. And if you do, thank you. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius. What's going on in love at this time for this bonus reading? For Aquarius, spirit, please. Thank you so much for the collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is a collective reading, not a personal reading. If this doesn't resonate, please don't leave me negative comments. I will delete them. All right. If it's not for you, please don't try to make it fit whatever messages come out here. I may get a lot of different messages, so only take what resonates. What's going on with Aquarius right now, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. All right. We have for Our Lady of Ripening on the Vine. We have four here, which is about stability, foundation. So something in the love department may be uh, just ripening here. Maybe something new that's growing, expanding, deepening. It's ripening. So let's see, ripening on the vine. And we have, wow, I just got this for Sagittarius. Our Lady of the Sacred Hearth. Number one is a new beginning, and I felt that. So I'm just curious what's under there. So so promise here. So it could be the promise of something new. So we have a brand new beginning that is just ripening on the vine here. So something is deepening, something is growing, expanding leveling up being um maybe going from dating to exclusively dating or exclusively dating to committing or committing to moving in or even getting married but something that feels like home with the uh lady of the sacred hearth here uh something that feels secure safe um and just feels like home a secure safe place to go in each other the sacred hearth wow okay all right, so let's see. Aquarius. Aquarius. Let's see. So if we add one and four, that's five. So something could be changing for you in love. All right. And we did see promise under there, which is number eight. So that's about taking action, travel, communication. So there could be some kind of commu communication coming in here which would cause something here to ripen even further into a sacred connection, a safe haven, safe place, safe, secure, warm place to go. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's going on in life for you right now. Aquarius, spirit, please. What's going on in life right now for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for this bonus reading, for the collective, for Aquarius. We have communication, self-expression, exchange, sharing, connection, 34, which is seven. Seven is about divinely guided spiritual energy. So the sun, you could be communicating with spirit, with the universe, with divine energies. Um, also, hmm, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Getting a lot like universal spiritual energy here. <laughs> like the cosmos and the planets and... Wow. And on the bottom here, we have gut instincts, intuition, knowing, sensing, and trust. This reminds me of Leo here. We have 19, which is uh, 10, 
which is about a completion or an ending, but then there's always a new beginning. Reminds me of strength, which it does say, doesn't say strength on there. But again, um, so if you're communicating, I mean, even with yourself, I don't know here, or spirit or the universe or God or whatever it is for you, praying, manifesting, whatever you're doing here, uh, being divinely connected, trust your higher knowing, your instincts, your intuition and just know and trust in what you're sensing we have divine communication here but it could be about an ending or a new beginning or something coming full circle for you to be strong courageous and brave kind of energy also wow so let's see what's going on for you Aquarius let's get some guidance advice messages from the universe from spirit for you this time what is the advice guidance messages from the universe and spirit for aquarius for this bonus reading sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the collective spirit please thank you so much all right guidance messages all right, it's two i just want one one and then we'll do the bottom of the deck for you i have one card for aquarius at this time what is there we go Address your addictions. Hmm. Address your addictions. Oh, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Reevaluate re your priorities. I just got this for Sagittarius too. Some of you, if you're Aquarius, you could have Sag in your chart or dealing with the Sag. Um, I'm not getting like bad addictions. Um, this could be doing too much of anything. Um, doesn't have to be like drinking too much or drugs or anything like that. It could be just being doing too much of something um, that is affecting things around you, whatever that may be. So this is telling you to reevaluate what you're doing here. Whatever you're doing that you're doing too much of <laughs> is I think you need to reevaluate your pri priorities because whatever you're prioritizing in your life and doing too much of is more of like a, an obsession or addiction. And I'm not getting like anything like really bad. I mean, it could be playing games too much. It could be watching too much tarot readings, uh, watching too much of a certain thing or eating too much. I don't know something here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to clarify with the tarot now for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, what's going on with all this energy for are some of you addicted? Uh, this is weird. Some of you addicted to smoothies or something. <laughs> that is so weird. That is so weird. If some of you are um, making like, like you're bored, you're home and you're like nothing else to do. So maybe you're eating too much or you're making like smoothies like fattening smoothies <laughs> that is just a weird message so if um, anyone relates to that leave me a comment I don't know it's just really strange really really strange all right what's going on what's going on with Aquarius spirit please thank you so much I love well we have the king of cups king or queen says uh Somebody who has love and emotions and feelings, but sometimes they don't communicate it very well, or they don't know how to communicate it very well, so they may show instead of saying. But somebody feels a little beat up here in this um, connection. Now there's two nine and ones, and one is color, and one is black and white. So I feel when I get the black and white one yet, it's like you're feeling a little bit beat up and like the wounded warrior, but it's not like too bad yet, because um, it's just in black and white. So let's see. It's like you're just getting, you know, a little fed up with something here. But it's not to the extreme yet. So what else? It could be with someone that you love, especially with the King of Cups there. So what's going on here? So we have the Four of Pentacles, which is an energy of holding on, holding back, not giving, not taking. And then I did see the Nine of Swords next. So stress, worry, fear, anxiety, judgment. So needing to make a judgment call here. It could be about forgiveness, resurrection, 
of something, of a connection, maybe where somebody wasn't giving and you were doing all the work. Now you're getting a little bit exhausted, like, you know what, I'm tired of being the one that always has to show affection, emotions, kind of energy. So maybe now you decide just to hold back a little. Somebody has fear, worry, stress, anxiety, though, and needing to make a judgment call. Do I keep giving in? I'm seeing the devil there to this toxic behavior. Do I forgive, forget, resurrection? Or do I make a judgment call here to do something about the situation? But we do have like a new beginning and something ripening on the vine, though. So huh, it's kind of contradictory to the energy I'm getting here. So why is this energy here? The world. So this is closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter. Traveling. Hmm. So why is the world here? Judgment call. I feel like you're you're deciding whether or not. I mean, it could be a new connection. Maybe at first it felt very secure. It felt warm, inviting, like a safe haven, safe place. And you felt like it was ripening. You know, it was starting to ripen. And then maybe it just kind of like got stuck with the Four of Pentacles energy. And now you're like, okay, I feel like now I'm the only one giving in this, showing affection and love. The other one doesn't really vocalize it much or anything like that. So you feel like, okay, I'm doing all the work here. I'm getting a little tired of this. Maybe it's got this person uh, a little scared and nervous here that you may make a judgment call to end this and move on. So what else here? What else here? What else here? The star. Such an energy. So here's healing. Divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, and dreams coming true. So, I mean, this may, somebody may be divinely guided here to either move on from this or heal it and remain hopeful and optimistic about this. Let's see what else here. So we have the Ace of Swords. So here's truth and clarity, divine guidance, the Sword of Victory. Uh, cutting out things no longer serving you. Telling it like it is. Clear communication. So what else? What else? So we have the Ace of Swords, which is a victorious new beginning. And then we have one over there, which is about a new beginning also. So the Queen of Swords. So divine energy again. Your energy coming up here. So I feel like some of you will sort of have like a new beginning with this person. Things will be better. There'll be healing and uh, things will get better. There'll be more honest communication here. Equal give and take. So I see two, I see male and a female, but it doesn't have to be. So I feel like there'll be like equal give and take now and balance. And this can be healed and moving forward and it'll be ripening, you know, ripening even further. Be more of a warm, inviting place. And then some of you may decide here to just cut this out and move on realizing uh, there's something better for you. <laughs> so however that resonates for you, I have two messages there. The chariot, yeah. Some of you will be getting in your chariot and moving on, and some of you will be moving this forward with this connection with drive, balance, victory. And some of you will leave this person out in the cold. So some of you would take the lead, take control, take charge, and move on from this. Or some of you will take charge to heal this to bring more balance and could lead to further commitment marriage also or some of you again are going to walk away so i mean however some of you it's not ripening the way you want it to ripen again going solo some of you are going to go solo some of you may heal this and uh, have a deeper commitment a more sacred space between the two of you so how would that resonates for you so whatever you feel like you need to do here if you feel like you want to heal this um between the two of you, that could be something more and better. Or some of you feel like, okay, I think I need to walk away. You do what's best for you. All right. So oh, what's going on here for gut instinct communication? So we have the three of cups. So some of you could be reuniting. I know uh, it's hard right now because of isolation. But uh, some of you may be following your intuition, your instincts, and knowing, self-knowing. Um, and communicating here about getting together with somebody, being divinely guided and led. But then we do have the devil energy here. Hmm. So that could be toxic behavior. It could be uh, lust, desire. It could be addictions, obsessions. 
negative thinking patterns. Yeah, it could be, you know, the devil energy here being very indecisive, like in and out energy, not sure what to do, being stuck in your own head, blocking your heart. Like, I don't know what to do. It's like that energy of back and forth, back and forth. What do I do? What do I do? Like that toxic pattern and circle in your head. But we do have here manifesting a brand new beginning of some kind. And it could be work-related. We have two threes here. So some of you, uh, could be something about a third party. That's why we have the devil here too. Some of you may be trusting your gut and your intuition that there may be a third party communicating. Indecisive about communicating that you know. Something could do could be around work or social circles. It's like putting your hand up and saying, yep, uh, no more. Ready to manifest a new beginning for yourself elsewhere for some of you. Wow. All right. Sensing something is up here. That could be the 10, the ending. Yeah. Nine of wands in reverse here. So you're not, uh, some of you here, um, I mean, if this is work related, it could be uh, something toxic going on at work where there's more than one person involved, uh, toxic behavior, maybe between coworkers, maybe indecisive about communicating what you know, what you've seen, what you've heard, what somebody did. That wasn't right. You know, being very torn with the nine of wands, like the battered warrior, tattered soldier, not sure know what to do here, like feeling torn up about it. But I feel like with it in reverse here, it's like you're not, you're not tearing yourself up about it anymore. So I feel like uh, some of you here may be like a whistleblower or you're going to whistleblow your person and say, Hey, I know what's up here. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to be in this energy anymore being uh, so caught up and torn up and beat up by this. I'm kind of done, kind of done that energy so what else here yeah you may be uh, going in isolation all by yourself healing rejuvenating resting contemplating thinking or the energy you're in now thinking contemplating what do I do in this situation three of swords yeah heartache pain hurt either by a third party or something a third party at work or something with uh, co-workers or your significant other. Yeah. Sadness, hurt, regret, four of cups. Oh, this is the four of cups. So feeling bored, complacent, and blah, either in love or at work. Knight of cups. So there could be apologies here or just moving forward in a loving, compar uh, compassionate, peaceful energy. Something move moving forward in love. What else? High Priestess, so again, listening to your gut instincts, your higher knowing, your intuition. Yep. And not saying anything. This could be an energy of not saying anything. Also. All right. So some of you, I feel like, won't say anything. Just let it kind of go. But some of you here definitely, I think, will communicate either blowing the whistle on your person or something at work here. You may say, hey, look, I'm sorry. But I know what's going on here. All right. It's up to you. Again, a lot of energy of what it says address here. So I think some of you need to address all this energy. So address your addictions. The Ace of Pentacles, reevaluate your priorities. So there's something here. I feel like there's something you need to prioritize here that will bring you long term abundance, success. Uh, growth, expansion for a lifetime, uh, could be work, career, finances. Some of you have some addictions to gambling or something online or something like that. I think it's time now to kind of hold back, save, save here, reevaluate, needing to go in a better place here, a peace, harmony, and balance, leaving uh, addictions behind, and moving forward to the sunset page of swords again this is an energy of doing things online so whatever you're doing online here i think you're doing too much of for some of you you need to reevaluate that page of wands so fiery passionate communication 
good news coming in. A lot of communication here. Nine of Cups. So you could be overindulging in something here with the Nine of Cups energy. Uh, so it's time to reevaluate that. Death. Yeah, it's time to end something you're overindulging in here. Time to end that. Transform, heal, end it, let it go. New beginnings, new way. Reevaluating this Knight of Pentacles. So it's time to move forward here in a more stable, secure um, energy. Smart, practical, analytical. Uh, I think you're putting it off, though. It's like you know you need to stop something here, but you keep putting it off. The three of wands is like waiting, waiting. And then the hanged man is kind of like at a pause, at a standstill, but then gains enlightenment, new perspectives. Knight of Swords energy. So it's an energy of like rushing, rushing something, rushing forward. Not being too smart and practical, though, as you do it. But Queen of Cups energy, so loving, caring, compassionate energy. Seven of Cups feel, feeling a little confused here, but finally taking lead, control, charge of your life, your situations here. After confusion, having, you know, self-love, worth, compassion, peace, and harmony. You know, rushing forward or something rushing at you or rushing forward, but be smart and practical about it. Uh, getting enlightenment, you know, you keep waiting, putting this off, you know, maybe you need to stop doing whatever you're doing here. Keep waiting, putting it off, but finally gaining new perspectives and enlightenment and moving forward now, forward now in a more practical um, energy. Wow, Aquarius. Okay. A lot of different energies there. So please, like I said, only take the ones that resonate for you and uh, leave the rest behind. Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.